Thank you, Johnny. Hi, folks, and welcome. This is Jeopardy! This is Jeopardy! Introducing today's contestant. Player one. <laughs> Player two. <laughs> Player three. <laughs> and now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thanks, Johnny. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. The Jeopardy round is where we start, as always. The first round of play today has these categories for you. Yo, Jimmy. Insect Invasion. Meet the Robinsons. Washington, Lincoln, or Obama. I only have eyes for you. And Roman Art. Player one, make a selection, please, as we continue. In the comics, Jimmy Olsen was this hero's cub reporter pal. Player one, use the Wii remote or press the corresponding direction on the play. Right. <laughs> You get to pick again. A book by former President Jimmy Carter compared Israel's treatment of Palestinians to this policy of white South Africa. It's player one. Good. <laughs> player one. From 1957 to 1971, Jimmy Hoffa was the president of this labor union. Yes, player one. You got it. <laughs> Player one. The Jimmy was a popular SUV from this American automaker. Let's hear it. Player one. <laughs> right you are. Player one. Back to you. He's Jerry Lee Lewis's famous evangelist cousin. It's player one. That is correct. Player one, pick again. Responsible for millions of cases of malaria each year, the Anopheles variety of this insect is one deadly bug. Player two. That's correct. Please pick again. About 300,000 people in Africa suffer from sleeping sickness spread by the tsetse variety of this insect. Yes, player one. Yeah! Correct. We return to you, player one. Woo! It's the Daily Double. And you're in the lead now. So, what's your wager? The clue. There are 20,000 known species of these insects, including social, parasitic, and killer types. That puts you even further ahead. You again, player one. Puny nickname for various insects of the family Ciaridae. Let's hear it, player two. You are correct. Choose again, player two. Of the one million species of insects, more than 300,000 are of this type, including the ladybug. Okay, player one. That's right, way to go. Player one, back to you for... In 1947, he shattered baseball's color line. It's player three. Yes. <laughs> Please pick again, player three. Like a famous mister of song, it was the nickname of tap dancer Bill Robinson. Yes, player one. Ah. Good. 
Select again. This Motown legend co-wrote My Girl and Tears of a Clown. Player one. Right. You get to pick again. In 1951, he defeated Jake LaMotta to become middleweight boxing champ. Okay, player three. Good for you. Player three, back. Emmanuel Goldenberg was the real name of the Robinson who used this first name on the stage. Let's hear it, player two. That is correct. We return to you, player two. Was born a British subject. It's player one. Hey, you're right. <laughs> player one, the tallest. Okay, player two. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Choose again. Player Never two. lived in Illinois. Let's hear it. Player two. Good. <laughs> you again, player two. Went to Occidental College and Columbia University. Player one? Yes. <laughs> player one? Received a patent. Yes, player three? Yes. <laughs> player three? You pick again, please. Heterohelix is the English variety of this climbing plant. It's player one. <laughs> right. <laughs> player one, back Kelly. In monozygotic, or this type of twins, the genetic makeup of each twin is exactly the same. Yes, player three. Correct. You get to pick again, player three. Roger that, Houston. The rocket engines have reached this point of firing to life. Okay, player three. Yep. We return to you. It's a list of places to be visited on a journey. Player one. Good. Please pick again, player one. The male of this wild goat of the Alps has backward curving horns that may be as long as it is tall. Let's hear it, player two. Right. Player two, pick again. Let's take it over to Kelly. This giant amphitheater was one of the great achievements of Roman art. Player two. That's correct. Player two. Back carved in Rome, the Pieta is the only work signed by this sculptor. Let's hear it, player three. That is correct. Select again. In Rome's Cerasi Chapel is Caravaggio's painting of the conversion of this saint. It's player three. That is correct. Choose again, player three. A fresco by Raphael shows Pope Leo I pleading with this ruthless barbarian to spare Rome. Okay, player two. Right. 
Let's have a look at the $1,000 clue. Legend has it that Mark Antony's wife stabbed this orator's tongue after his death. Yes, player two. Correct. Player three is in third place, which means, of course, player three will select first in double jeopardy. And we have two daily doubles awaiting you in these categories. Medicine. Not nominated for Best Picture. Calling All Angels. Books and Authors. The A's. And New York, New York. All right, if you're ready, it's Double Jeopardy time. A cold that lasts longer than a week may indicate inflammation of these air spaces in the skull. Okay, player one. That's correct. You again, player one. Here's Kelly with the clue. Red blood cells are distorted into a particular shape and don't carry oxygen well in patients with this type of anemia. Let's hear it, player two. <laughs> we return to you, player two. Suspect Rocky Mountain spotted fever even in patients from the Carolinas, as it's an area with lots of these critters. It's player two. Yes! Please pick again, player two. A stent is a tube often used to hold these open especially the coronary ones. Yes, player one. Good. You get to pick again, player one. The air puff test, a measure of eye pressure, is used to diagnose this condition. Player one. Yes. Player one, you pick again, please. Bogey and Hepburn floated across the screen in this 1951 film that pleased audiences and critics, but not the Academy. Let's hear it, player three. Yeah! Good for you. Select again. You couldn't drag a Best Picture nomination out of the Academy for this 1959 Billy Wilder film. Well, nobody's perfect. Player two. Woo right you are. Player two, back to you. The Academy must have been out to lunch not nominating this 1961 Audrey Hepburn George Pippard film. Okay, player two. <laughs> hey, you're right. Choose again, player two. In 1954, this Jimmy Stewart and Grace Kelly starer from Alfred Hitchcock didn't get a second glance. It's player three. You got it. You again, player three. Driving Miss Daisy won for 1989, the year this Spike Lee film about urban racism was passed over. Yes, player one. That's right, way to go. Player one, pick again. Capelli d'Angelo is an Italian food term for a type of this. Let's hear it, player two. Woo! You are correct. Hey, hey! Player two, back. That every soul has one of these is not an article of faith, but St. Jerome says it is the mind of the church. Player one. Good. Yeah! 
Select again. It follows Hark in the first line of a 17th century hymn. Okay, player one. We return to you, player one. Pierre Jesus, sung by this young Welsh lass with the voice of an angel, has sold millions worldwide. It's player two. Yeah. That's it. You get to pick again, player two. Answer. The first of the two daily doubles. You're in second right now. Give us a wager, player two. Answer this. It's the title of Tony Kushner's Pulitzer winning play. You've moved up to first place. Player two, pick again. In 2003, Mitch Album had a number one bestseller with the five people you meet in here. Yes, player one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> player one. In 1947, he published his first story collection, Dark Carnival. Fahrenheit 451 came six years later. Okay, player three. Yep. <laughs> Player three. In Willa Cather's O Pioneers, the heroine Alexandra Bergson is of immigrant stock from this country. Player three. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Player three. Back in 2007, his book The Road earned him a Pulitzer Prize and entry into Oprah's book club. It's player one. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Choose again, player one. James Michener's Centennial centers on a fictional town in this state. Let's hear it, player three. Yep. Please pick again, player three. A liquid under pressure released through a nozzle as a spray or foam. Yes, player one. Good. You again, player one. A recess or nook for something like a bookcase. Let's hear it, player two. Yeah. You are correct. Choose again, player two. To suspend a legal proceeding. Yes, player two. You got it. <laughs> player two, back to you. From the Greek for slope, it's to adjust to a new set of conditions. Okay, player one. Good for you. <laughs> Select again. Kelly will present this clue. In seismic data, the maximum displacement of a seismic wave during one oscillation, here, 23 millimeters, is referred to by this term. It's player three. That is correct. Player three, back to you for our next selection. Completed in 1931, this structure required 10 million bricks. A true stairmaster would climb its 1,860 steps. Player two. Hey, you're right. You again, player two. Forget about it. Now a borough, it was incorporated as a village in 1816 with roughly 4,000 residents. Let's hear it, player three. 
Yes. Yeah, yeah. Player three, you pick again. In 1754, King's College was founded in New York City. Today it's known as this Ivy League University. Okay, player three. That's correct. You get to pick again, player three. In 1776, after the Battle of This Area, the British retook New York City and held the city until the war's end in 1783. It's player two. <laughs> Here's the $2,000 clue. Answer, yeah. The second daily double. You are in the lead right now. What are you going to wait for? And the clue. In 1765, Congress met in New York to protest unfair taxes levied under this act. Congratulations, you're still in first, player two. Looks like you'll all be moving on to Final Jeopardy after this break. Everything depends on Final Jeopardy, of course, so let's take a look at the category, shall we? Musical history. So, what's your wager? Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. Let's see what it is. Here's the clue. It's the nursery rhyme that inspired the title of a famous musical based on a 1913 George Bernard Shaw work. What did you put as your response? And this correct response will add how much to your score? Let's see your response. How much do you add to your total with that correct response? And your response? And that correct response yeah. will add... Woo. Congratulations, player two. You are our new champion. Thanks for playing. We'll see you next time.